Hello, my name is Carol and I am from the Montesano Timberland Library and I am here today to talk to you about bubble art that you can do with your preschoolers. This is what we call process art as opposed to project art. So project art would be like you have something and you're going to make a hippopotamus and it's going to look like a hippopotamus when you're done. Where process art, it's not so much about what the finished product looks like, it's more about the process of making art and that is actually more developmentally appropriate for preschoolers and a lot of fun for them because there's no pressure about what it looks like at the end. It's more about the process of creating it and it's very good for their sensory development, um, cognitive skills, all kinds of things. So, and, and it's a lot of fun because what preschoolers do not love bubbles. So what I did was I got some bubble solution. I happen to have some on hand. If you don't have bubble solution, it's really easy to make your own. Um, I usually use like dish soap and glycerin and water. I mix it all up. And it's really, really easy to find instructions for that. But if you have bubble solution, which a lot of you might, you can also use that. Um, I, what I did was I mixed, took a little cup and mixed um, bubble solution with um, food coloring. You can also use paint if you want. I recommend tempera paint because it doesn't stain. Um, actually, food coloring can stain, so I'm just going to be very careful. You can also put down a tarp or, you know, something like that, newspapers on the floor to make it a little easier to clean up. But this is lots and lots of fun. So I did uh, seven colors. I did a uh, green, red, ooh, and black, yellow, purple, red and brown so let's see what happens with my bubbles i love blowing bubbles so to get to make art from blowing bubbles is kind of a dream come true for me let's see what happens so since your bubbles are in the paint when they splash, they make really fun designs. And your preschoolers will love it, I promise. Oh, it's looking really cool. Let's see. And I mean, it's just honestly fun to blow bubbles. I love blowing bubbles. purple bubbles and it's fun you can talk to your preschoolers about what colors they're they see or what colors are in the cups or like you know now I'm gonna blow some red bubbles let's see how those look and last but not least I've got some brown bubbles Well, I think I want a little more purple in mine, so I'm going to add some purple. Oh boy. And I'm going to do a little more green. And I'll show you my finished product when I'm done. And let's do some Okay, and I still have bubbles on my page, so I think if that happens, probably what I would recommend is just go ahead and pop them or let the kids pop them. And here is, I'll come closer so you can see, here is my finished bubble art. How cool is that? Um, it's a little drippy, so I recommend letting it dry. But um, your preschoolers are going to love this. It's lots and lots of fun. I highly recommend it. Really easy, really fun. Um, pretty easy cleanup if you put you know newspaper down or something. Or if you use tempera paint, it won't stain. That's um, a good tip. Actually, food coloring is probably going to stain, but I'm going to clean it up, so it's okay. Um, all right. Well, thank you for making bubble art with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.